Egypt is a good place to invest, first of all, because it's a big market, it's a big local market, it's a good geographical location, you have good people, and the first time to get it's a great place to ask, to choose, to be a great place to invest. Back again, uh, we come to you from uh, Egypt. We all begins, uh, and uh, um, well, we are talking, tackling uh, this time the problem of uh, tourism, uh, its problems, it's uh, the, the whatever is happening uh, uh, recently in it, uh, developments, and uh, so on. As we said, money means business, business means money, and tourism for Egypt uh, means money. It's an important revenue that we almost lost, uh, and uh, very uh, almost hit drop button, and we trying. Uh, to uh, get back uh, to uh, the norm, uh, the very hard roads, uh, um, full of spikes, but uh, we're working on it and things are getting better slowly, but surely. And we have uh, with us uh, our guests who are going to be talking to us uh, about the roles uh, of uh, uh, the people who are working in tourism, Egyptian people working in tourism uh, here. Um, we do have with us uh, Mr. Uh, Ahmed uh, Abu Salman, the two guys and planning what's with us here. Mm -hmm. Two is mean business, yes. <laughs> as well as uh, Mr. Sandra Vess, the two guys and operator of MC with us. Well, uh, let me just, we, we talked before about tourism and we know the problems of tourism and, and, and two guides and two operators and all the people working in tourism. But then there is a lot more to say. Now, you know, how do you see uh, the tourism industry, whatever is happening in it? Uh, for example, you know, they, just, they talk about tourism is just picking up. Um, you, after lifting the bans coming to Egypt uh, uh, from uh, uh, different countries, uh, about you know, after some events, some events that took place, things are getting uh, better. But now you know, you're in the real uh, field and you're going to talk to us about the problems that you're facing, that you face, that you're facing, and how do you see the future and how, the future of tourism in Egypt and what's going in right now? Well, I'm glad what's going on right now. Should we? I think it does make sense to speak about what is happening yes. right now, you know, which is mainly after every crisis happens in Egypt. We have the uh, downfall of tourism, mm -hmm. and uh, even when the political situation improves, when people coming, mm -hmm. uh, we uh, face a serious problem, which is first, the uh, prices mm -hmm. is very bad. Uh, second, uh, for a very long period of time now, three to four years, people are struggling in this field, which is, is difficult for people having families, yes. and to support their families for four years, which is very, with a very uh, small number of tourists coming to Egypt, and the prices actually, which is offered by travel operators and travel companies, they are very competitive, and of course they will pay less for tour guides, for drivers uh, as well. Uh, the main problem is many of those who are experts in the fields who cannot make enough uh, money for a living, uh, they decided to find another job. Yeah, just somewhere else, definitely. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, no, you know, now we are dealing with that when we have, we gain our reputation back, we can people coming, trusting political security system coming back to Egypt. So we don't have many expert people. You know, in case if we have the same number, well, the things are just bad. We don't have the experts. You know, like, uh, but then they just fly somewhere else. And exactly. Assuming that we have the same number of people investing in it, like in four years ago. Mm -hmm. So and four years ago, honestly, you know, and Ahmed actually is familiar with that as well. So we have a problem in finding time to serve tourists. Sometimes we have a problem in finding a proper guide, mm -hmm. a proper driver, you know, to uh, for tour being booked. Mm -hmm. uh, Imagine that the same number came now, with almost like 50% of those who are working in the field, they are not working in the field anymore. Mm -hmm. So we will have, uh, with all respect for micro bus driver, you know, you know, but we have like unexpert drivers, for mm -hmm. example, coming to serve. Mm -hmm. We will be um, uh, people like waiters and hotels, and definitely tour guides as well. Yes. So that is a problem. You know, so there is also, there is, everywhere there is a newly graduate tour guide, they need training. 
and there is no way to give training for newly graduates to a guy where there is no tools around. Mm -hmm. So that's how they feel sorry, you know, for those who have been graduated in the last four years because they have never had a chance to get a proper training in the field. That's uh, that's the kind of problem we have we have now, and it's very important to to talk about the problem before uh, before talking about the solution. You know, so yeah, we can of course, of course, should you know, see another you know, uh, point out the problems mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. to see the solutions for that. Mm -hmm. Now you know we're faced with a new problem. We didn't well, we, we had the, we have the problem, but it's just like low tourism and then uh, uh, hitting the blocking and the Right now, you know, the people just went to other um, businesses and uh, probably now they just don't trust very much in you know, coming back and leaving whatever they were doing. That's right, yeah. I'll tell you something. Uh, first of all, what we like to talk actually about the whole business, the whole tourism business in Egypt. Tourism business in Egypt was getting loads of money yes. in the time of 2008-2009, like $1.5 billion a month. Mm -hmm. That was an industry, 4.5 million people working on. Yeah. Those 4.5 million people were spending between four to 6,000 pounds a month, mm -hmm. which is a very good salary, but the people are not going to depend on the government, on I mean, they just depend on tourism. And that actually serves more than 16 other million people. Yes. So you can tell that quarter of the Egyptians by direct and indirect way are involved in tourism business. Mm -hmm. We can say that the foreign currency that is coming from tourism now is not that number that we reach at those years, which is $14.8 billion, which is not bad compared to other countries. We can say a country like Spain or a country like France can get up to 60 billion euros a year from tourism. I will we reach the number in Spain, we will reach the number of 52 billion euros, which is less by about 8 billion dollars. The French government started to talk to the French people on the TV and tell them, please smile on the tourist's face. And we need the tourists just, please smile. Because it's tourism, it's our destiny. So what I'm telling now, we are going back our tourism in a way, but not the kind of tourist that no, we are no, expecting. Just a, no. That's right. When we tell somebody that our currency is, for example, one of our eight of the dollars and one of our nine from the euro and one of our twelve of the uh, 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 English pound, and when you still got a very cheap hotel room. Yes. For eighteen dollars and twenty-two dollars, mm -hmm. and you can serve the three meals by a special kind of uh, what we call it, um, uh, maybe a, a way or a contract done by a travel agent yes. for a special amount of tourists mm -hmm. to come to a hotel, which is called all-inclusive. Mm -hmm. By this way, you can say that the ten tourists can get an opportunity of a job for one person. Yes. And the cultural tourism that we depend on for a long time, which is actually the introduction of Egypt, that's the actual kind of tourism that we are looking towards. In Emirates, they make more than $18 billion a year from tourism, and it's going up now. Mm -hmm. And they're actually creating new kind of tourism. It's new ideas. Mm -hmm. But we don't have to show them new ideas because we already have something unique. For example, if I talk about the beach tourism, it's everywhere in the whole world. And in Egypt, it's actually served in a different way. Cheaper, better, and mostly in, in resorts that you wouldn't find a, 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 a computer for them all around the world. But I'm talking about the cultural tourism, cultural, uh, cultural tourism which is actually Egypt exceeded all kinds of, you know, um, uh, opportunities for uh, other countries. Like you can tell that we have the oldest kind of history in our temples and tombs all around Egypt. Why are we not actually representing this towards the, the travel agents all around the world in a better way? Because that's what, uh, what we are actually expert on. And you can say that the kind of tourism that actually buy this kind of tour can pay about from three. $350 to $400 a day 
which serve more than 28 persons working in the tourism business from one tourist. Let me ask you, who is responsible for not presenting Egypt the way it should be presented? Now when you think about Egypt, because you're in the business, you're in the business, and you know exactly what should be done. Yes, I then, then who's supposed to be doing this? Who's supposed to? Uh, who should we blame for that? Well, let me tell you something. One of the national companies for tourism in Egypt was opening in 2004. Before 2004, we used to have 28 branches all around the world in Europe. Yes. Now there are only four branches. Mm. Can you imagine that? That there is no kind of marketing for our uh, tourism for Egypt, which is the cheapest country that you can see, the maximum number of monuments all around the world and tombs and temples, which is perfect service in the five stars hotel and even the four stars hotel and the cruises which is actually not showing the way that it's supposed to be shown. Yes. Only the tourists understand that when it comes to Egypt and feel the service. There is some kind of what we call it uh, negatives. In any country there is negatives. You can find some people can uh, you know about the tourist or pushing something uh, like a, a driver or a, or a vendor or stuff like that. People are trained in a way that if they are going to keep doing that, they're going to leave their tourist. Yes. So I think people are learning, and the Egyptian people are learning learn quickly. Mm -hmm. So what I need now is a special kind of danger for me. Like your channel, for example, the main channel talking about Egypt in French and in English for Europe and the uh, uh, United States. Mm -hmm. I, I, I cannot find another you know, channel in Egypt talking about tourism, for example, for the foreigner who, who actually came to Egypt and wanted to know more about Egypt, mm -hmm. for example. This is very important. I mean, look at Emirates. They have like two channels talking about the hotels only in Emirates mm -hmm. and the way of services and the spas and the way that they serve their new ideas. Mm -hmm. They don't have even 10% of food actually you have to Exactly, exactly. And that's true. Mm -hmm. We have about 3,430 sites of Egypt in the UNESCO, which is about more than 40% of the monuments all around the world, that were, which was actually you know, supported by the UNESCO. And well, the actually, two years I've been digging and I'm selling the animals, even on what we do. You know, actually, what I like most about what Ahmed saying, uh, the idea of using the exhibition culture to yes. Yes. So we have been in this field for for how long, Ahmed? For 15 years, 15 years, 14, 15 years now. And uh, we have long experience in understanding the needs of people in people traveling to Egypt. So uh, we, have, we have lots of history and lots of monuments, you know, but so do you think after one visit to the pyramid, you know, do you think the people would like to come and see the same pyramid again or they would like to see something else with the pyramid? Definitely something else. Exactly. Then, uh, but let me tell you about the experience you know, I face when I'm taking like uh, friends of mine for coming there. Mm. Um, the people of Moses and Simon, they like they just try, you know, they just, they think, you know, if you're going there, and of course, I, I have to call someone mm. there, uh, the plateau general director, when we're going there, and then just they, they try to go like from the back of the street, so they go in the front of the street, saying hello, mm. and then they just like, you know, like, yeah, saying so, you know, it's very mm. true, or you have to go somewhere else, and it's like, I know that it's not true. So when this happens, this is some kind of, some kind of like bothering. Yeah, imagine uh, that is happening. Even Egyptians, with Egyptians, it happens. So imagine that is happening actually for tourists, which is he decided to come and visit Egypt in his own, you know, without the use of the company. And yeah, there is a big number of tourists actually which is coming and traveling and mm -hmm. you know, which is being picked up this way. You know, yes. what, what do you think the kind of experience you know, do we promote for Egypt? Mm -hmm. So you know, these are very big subject, especially the idea of not just the which is really very nice people there, but unfortunately there is uh, there a small number of people which is they are they are promoting very badly about Egypt. Mm -hmm. So talking about culture to is uh, I would not say that myself and I would like to encourage people to ask questions. You well, know, let's just then define cultural tourism or new culture, but then we got a phone call and we will just go sure, in depth sure. data. We do have with us uh, Mr. Tim Presco, English travel operator. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, sir. Hello, Tim. Um, <laughs> well, um, we've been talking about uh, the problems, of course, of tourism in Egypt here and how you know, Egypt is not promoted the right way. One of the points and the, the roles of uh, uh, those people working in the travel agency and uh, the travel uh, uh, industry in um, uh, and tourism industry in Egypt. How do you see um, Egypt in the work as um, um, a travel operator? How is it presented? How is it? Uh, um, what are the problems that you see that uh, the um, tourists 